Namaste, good evening, guys. This is Destiny. It's getting late in the afternoon. And I decided to come back out into nature. This is my out to nature video here. And I decided to come back out to get some more sunshine before the night came and fall and take away the beautiful sunshine, the beautiful array of colors in the beautiful skies out here. But I was sitting here and I was reading this book, a very interesting book. This is, this is a topic that I talk about all the time. Love yourself. I'm gonna tell you, we walk around, many people walk around. They love this, they love that. I love him, I love her. They love everything else. But then they find it hard to love themselves. They find it hard to forgive themselves. And they always walking around looking for other people, validation of them people's approval of what they think they are so that make them feel like they are someone if you don't learn to love yourself then you cannot love anyone else if you don't learn how to appreciate you how you expect someone else to appreciate you if you can't accept you as who you are the creator create you to be then how you exposed to expect someone else to accept you people got to see your genuinity, your love for yourself. They gotta see you putting yourself as a very special person, a person who's really loving themselves before they can wanna move into your territory. But anyway, this book I always talk about, Love Yourself First. And this book is by Lawrence Crane. And I was sitting here out here reading it, and I talk about this book a whole lot. This book right here has been on my channel a lot. So, I'm out here in this wind too, guys, so you're gonna see my hair is blowing away. I'm gonna read some inserts in this book. And then, love is a tremendous power. One discovers the power behind love without question. It's far more powerful than the hydrogen bomb. One individual with nothing but love can stand up against the entire world because love is so powerful. This love is nothing but the self. Wow. This is the love of God. Because the Bible tells us what? That he first loved us. So we can't even love ourselves. And the Bible says, um, how can you say that I love my, that you love him, that you love God? How can you say that you love God? When you don't love your neighbor, when you don't love yourself, you got to learn how to love yourself. So love will give not only all the power in the universe, it will give all the joy and will give you all the knowledge. The best way to increase our capacity to love is through understanding ourselves. And I think everyone knows the wonderful experience of loving one person. So you can imagine what it's like when you love seven billion people. It will be seven billion times more enjoyable. That is something you need to think on. Think on that. Think on that. Love is a constant attitude that evolves in us when we develop it. So it's something like I'm saying, like love is just not gonna jump out at you and it's gonna throw you down and start it remolding you and reshaping you and trying to push push itself down into you. You're going to know how to go deep within yourself because that's where your love is. You're going to have to go deep inside and pull out that beauty, that, that, that graciousness, that, that beautiful love that the Creator created you from, His likeness and His image. So it's already there. And so you got to let that love shine from the inside to the best, to the outside of me. The best way to increase our capacity capacity to love is through understanding ourselves. I think everyone knows that. Love is a constant attitude that evolves in us when we develop it. We should try practicing the love first on our families. Sometimes that's the hardest place to start because sometimes a lot of times our families they are so negative toward us because we live in the environment all the time and, and a lot of times you know our families a lot of times you know they don't give us the 
the gratitude or, or, or the appreciation or, or the cheering up or the encouragement because they're because they they love what, what's called tough love you know I'm building you up by being tough so but it had to start in with your family first so grant everyone in your family their own beingness let everybody be themselves and of course definitely you know you got to learn to be yourself then apply it to the friends then you're going out there you apply it to the strangers then everyone will have a little bit of piece of you because you're loving yourself first and you're demonstrating that okay the more we practice love the more we love the more love is going to keep coming and growing inside of you until love becomes so contagious and when you walking around love's gonna be bouncing off of you and other people are gonna see you come in they gonna feel that spark of love then they gonna see that hey this person truly loves themselves so the more we practice love and the more it's gonna continue to come the more we love the more we practice love then love it begets love the more you love the more love that you're gonna get and the more of the love that you're gonna have to give out the more we develop love, the more we come in touch with the harmony of the universe, the more delightful our life becomes. The most beautiful and the more of anything or everything is love. It starts a cycle going in which you spin inward and upwards. It continues to keep rising to a greater and higher level. The more you love, you find yourself rising to that place that you'll move you up higher and you want to keep continuing to love. The only method of receiving love is to give love because what we give out, it has to come back. You gotta be, better be expecting it. Hey, I sent it out there, it's coming back to me. You better be expecting it. The easiest thing in the universe to do is to love everyone. What you gotta lose? I mean, you know, you always keep your guard up, you always keep your eyes open, you watch people. But ain't nothing wrong with being kind and gracious and loving to people. So we've just got to learn how to love everyone. That is, once we learn what love is, but you're never going to know what love is till first what? You start loving yourself. you got to love you. you got to love yourself better than anything. You spend more money on other people than yourself. You take other people out to lunch and dinner more than you take your own self out. You're treating people to Gucci bags and all kinds of expensive things and just buying them up with what have you bought yourself lately. You're buying people things. You're spending money on people. But why don't you spend that money on you? Because you should put yourself first. You're your be me. You are your be me self. You have to, and until you can learn to really appreciate you and accept the great value that the creator of this universe, God, has placed in you. Because he said, I call you out of darkness into that marvelous light. Baby, you are fine. You are beautiful. You are my masterpiece. You are the, the beautiful creation of all creations in the world that I created. When I created man, I created him. Special, beautiful, and full of love. Because that's what the universe God is. He's love. So guys, you've got to learn how to start loving yourself. And once we learn what love is, then it is the easiest thing to do. It takes tremendous effort not to love everyone, and you see the effort being expended in everyday life. But when we love, we are at one with each other, and that's the place I keep telling you we gotta get to that one place called. We divide ourselves. We gotta have our own little group over here, our own little section over here, our own little family over here our special little friends here, our church worship over here. We always dividing ourselves. Until we learn how to start dividing what the Creator has brought together. When He created, He created all things together as one. We are one with the universe. We are one with our divine higher power. We are one with everything within the universe. And from the trees, the plants, leaves, birds, animals, seeds, whatever. We are all one. And baby, listen brother and sister, we are one with each other. You better start believing that we are one with each other and why is that because what he did he scooped us from the heart of the ground of the dirt and when god breathed in us he breathed his very breath and life into us and we became living souls we became him we became god consciousness 
and we are the only creation that he made that he took his very own breath and he breathed life into us he didn't breathe nothing else on anything else into nature that he created that he's all he did was speak let come the stars, let come the moon, let come the flowers, the trees, the water, the sun, the moon, and everything else. Let it be. Let it be. But baby, he took time out for us. He put himself within us. And he is love. So, when we learn what love is, it's the easiest thing to do. It takes tremendous effort not to love everyone. And you'll see the effort being expended in everyday life. But when we love, we are at one with all, one with all things. We are at peace. That's his peace. The world can't give us no peace. The world can't give us no peace. The world can't give us that genuine love that we receive from the divine creator God. He said, I give you peace which surpasses all understanding. Because the peace that he gives is going to keep your heart and your mind. And it's going to keep that love channel flowing. It's going to keep our minds constantly stayed on the divine creator God himself. But when we love, we're always going to remember this, that we are one with all. We are at peace with everything, with ourselves, and with everything else that around us that comes into our path. It's all going to fall perfectly in line. In the higher spiritual love, there is no self-deprivation. None. We don't have to hurt ourselves when we love everyone. We don't have to hurt ourselves and we don't have to. With love, guys, there's a feeling of mutuality. That which is mutual is correct. If you love, you hold to that law. Love one another as I have loved you. He gave you that law. The Creator God of the universe gave you that law. So if you're not loving, then you're not keeping the law that he created, that he gave for man to love one another. Love is smothered by wrong attitude. We killed it. We mess it up. We just screw it all up. We just make it ugly and nasty and dirty. But love is pure. Love is kind. Love is from the heart of the divine creed of God that he pours within to us. Because he is nothing but pure love pure love but we take that love and we just when well, you love me I love you if you give this to me I give that to you that's not that's not unconditional love people that's love that's that kind of love is that selfish that's the selfish kind of love the kind of love you know that's not pure that, that's the love that comes from your ego that's not the love of God his love is unconditional the love that we out there offering or we receiving from people are uncondi it's, it's conditional love. You love me if you do this. I'll love you if you do that for me. i love you if you buy me a house or you get me a car. i love you if you come spend t some time with me. That's condition. You're putting conditions on people's lives and you're allowing people to, comp to put conditions on yours as well. We've just been smothering love with all those wrong attitudes and those wrong approaches. But we got to get into the heart center, baby. This is your heart chakra. That's where the genuality of love, that's where the spiritual opening of yourself and the love of the divine creator God, that's when it all comes open. That's when the genuality, that's when that unconditional love begins to pour out of you. That's when you start loving who you are. That's when you will learn who you are, who you are, what your purpose is. That's when you start learning that you are greater than everything that this whole world has said that you were, the world systems and all that. So, love is smothered by wrong attitudes. Love is our basic nature and natural thing. That's why it is so easy if we just fall into the, the path and the plans of the Creator and just love the way He loved unconditionally. The opposite of that, then it takes effort. It's going to take work. Because we got to sit home and price this gift in the mirror and say, I'm going to tell them how much I love them, but I'll make sure they really mean it because I got to show that face. I got to show these feelings, these emotions. We put so much effort to try to, to persuade people or uh, make people believe that we really, they really truly love us. That's a lot of work. 
So we move away from our natural self when we are doing that, and we are covering up the trueness, the real love that the Creator put in us, and we are smothering it with all kinds of concepts that is outside of the reach and the plan of the divine Creator, and it's the opposite of what true conditional love is. And then because we are not loving, truly loving the way that the Creator God creates us to love, then guess what we are doing? We are unloving. And all the unloving and all the things that we're sending out conditionally to people on that lesson that we think that we are teaching and demonstrating so bad and so greatly about love, we'll screw up a lot of people's lives and even ourselves. And all that fake stuff that we send out that we call love, all those conditional programs that we call love that we passing along to other people, it's fake and it's phony and it's not real, it's not genuine. All that shit's coming back to you. It's coming back to you in the wrong way. And you'll never reach that place where the Creator God wants you to reach. And that's that place of love here in your heart center. Guys, get this book, Love Yourself by Lawrence Crane. And I'm getting out of here because I got the wind in my hair. Excuse the way I look right now. But I'll see you in the next video. Beautiful, beautiful day. I love you guys. And Destiny is out of here. I will see you at the next video. Subscribe to Destiny Forever Walks, my YouTube channel. I will see you at the next video. Subscribe, subscribe, and like my videos. Destiny is here. She's going away to get more information to bring your way. You know I'll be back, right? I will see you at the next video. I'm going to see you at the next video. No mistake. Continue to have a wonderful, great rest of the day. And I will see you again, whether it be at your house or mine. Love you. Get this book.